So what is our basic introduction structure? Our basic introduction uh, structure is starting with a general statement. When you introduce the general topic, you give a background and a reason for your argument, you present your controversy. What are you writing about? Is it an uh, argumentative question? Are you talking about uh, some topic? You have to give a general idea about it. What is the reason for your argument? Then you go into a more specific statement about the main topic. And this information will be based on the topic. Uh, you, if you need to give a definition, like it says here, if it's applicable, then you can provide your definition at this stage. If not, you can move on to the next stage, which would be your thesis statement. This should include, include the key topics of your argument. It must also include your stance, which would be your position, what is your idea, and your opinion. To what extent do you agree about this? So it would be a good idea to state this at this point. And you could end with the outline, which would be the general structure of the essay. Now you can see the arrow, it says it's interchangeable or it could be combined. So you could give your outline and then present your thesis, or you could give your thesis and then present your outline, or combine the two if you're more comfortable with that. And um, this uh, has been introduced, this idea of a basic introduction structure has been given, has been taken from academicenglishuk.com. So some great introductory paragraphs usually start with a brilliant opening line. An opening line is very, very important. Uh, when you have a good opening line, you immediately catch the reader's interest. Uh, then it could be a question. So you're asking the reader a question, and then again, they, they are drawn in to your reading, your piece of writing. An anecdote would be something that happened. It could be fictional, it could be true, it could be a personal experience. An intriguing fact, something very interesting or something very entertaining, and a playful joke. Okay, so it could be something funny, you could start with humor. It could be an emotional appeal. So something that appeals to some people's emotions, the reader's emotions. Okay, so then your essay introduction could be with a hook. And here is an example of one, the hook, the topic, and the thesis. Now let's look at the topic before we read the hook in order to know what topic am I writing about. So my introduction, I'm talking about the topic. Macbeth learns this the hard way. And what does he learn? In the hook, I'm telling you what it is. Everyone has told a lie at one point, but as it contradicts something we know to be true, lies are always exposed, revealing the truth behind them. So beneath them, sorry. So Macbeth learns that lies are not profitable in the long run, and he learns this the hard way. And your thesis statement would be, one theme in Macbeth by William Shakespeare is that the truth will eventually come out. So the hook merges into the topic. So here the topic would be the bridge or the transition, and then it takes us to the thesis. And this is another, um, I think, a reiteration of what I just said, introduction paragraph, the hook, the necessary background or transition, and the thesis. So the hook grabs reader's attention. The background introduces the topic, or it's a transition sentence that connects your hook to your thesis. And the thesis summarizes your claim and your evidence so that the readers know what's going to come in the body paragraphs. So you have to give a very clear indication in your introduction through your hook, through your background, and through your thesis about what your topic is, what you're going to be writing about, what stance are you taking, and how the development is going to progress in the body paragraphs. At this stage, I would just like to ask, um, does anyone have any questions? been doing a lot of talking till now. So any questions till now? I think I can see some in the chat box. Okay, okay. So I'm getting answers that says no, it's all clear. Okay, thank you very much. Yes, so um, when I open up the chat box, it just freezes. So just give me a minute so I can move the slide. Okay, right, so now we have um, the introduction structure again with another hook as an example. 
One legend has it that Sir Isaac Newton came up with his ideas about gravity after he was hit on the head by a falling apple. So all of us have heard the story about Isaac Newton when he was sitting under, under the tree and the apple fell on his head. He got the idea about gravity. So the bridge tells you something more. It is certainly an appealing idea through happy accident, inspiration literally struck him. However, the story and the idea it promotes that luck plays a larger role in discovery than hard work is little more than a fantasy. In reality, chance can occasionally play a positive role in innovation, but mistakes are likely to create more problems than they solve. And then you have the thesis, careful hard work is much more important to discovery than luck is. So this writer is taking the stance that, yes, there was a chance incident which uh, brought Sir Isaac Newton to discover gravity when the apple fell on his head, but hard work is equally important or much more important in making any new discovery. So this is the um, the position that he has taken through the thesis statements. Now, here I've given you two examples of how you can introduce the subject. One is a bad subject introduction, and another one is a good subject introduction. I'll just give you one minute to quickly uh, glance through it, and then I will read it out so we can discuss why one is bad and the other one is good. If you can just think about that for a minute. Once you've read it, if you have any ideas, you can put them in the chat box or you could speak on the mic. So I think in uh, the first uh, one, yes. the writer starts by giving his value uh, judgment by saying, for example, best selling. And uh, he is giving uh, much more details uh, mm -hmm. instead of talking in a, a general way because this is the place for an introduction. So you need general background, not uh, specific details. Exactly. So exactly. Those are two. Yes. Thank you. Thank you so much for that. Uh, I didn't get your name. I'm sorry. It's not showing up on the on the chat. Uh, but yes, uh, that was a very good observation. Uh, first Arriba. of all. Arriba. Yes. Rita. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Rida. Yes. And and I got uh, some more answers coming in. I think um, uh, once someone has written, the bad one is very detailed. Correct. Yes. Um, it has a lot of details, Sami Aryam. And um, uh, yes, and we have uh, another answer from... Yes. Okay. So these are the correct answers. Absolutely. Very good observations. A uh, lot of details, not necessary. Uh, especially in the introduction and uh, things that are being given uh, is taking away or detracting from the main topic. So, and, and like uh, Mr. River said, best-selling novelist is a kind of judgmental idea which is being introduced right in the beginning. But if we look at the, the good subject introduction, Amy Tan, a first-generation Chinese-American born to Chinese immigrant parents, is a novelist who has written countless stories celebrating the history of China and its people. So that is a very brief uh, idea about the novelist, and yet it gives us a lot of information in the short uh, paragraph, the introductory paragraph that is given. So that is a much better um, introduction as opposed to the first paragraph that, that we can see. Um, okay, so moving on to the next slide, if you can, um, yes, just give me, a, yes. Um, we have another sample introduction over here. Um, I want you to have a look at it for a minute and tell me what do you think the topic is. It's very easy to see the topic. So what is the topic of this uh, essay? What is the writer trying to talk to us about? What is he introducing? Can I have any ideas? Um, yes, okay, uh, Shahad Adil has said reading, yes. And uh, Sumaya Baksh says to improve social skills. And Arub Obaid says modern technology. 
Um, um, Nancy says the third paragraph is the main idea. Uh, uh, yes, so you are all very, very close and pretty much spot on about what the, the essay is going to be talking about. So this introduction is about reading and how uh, audiovisual aids, yes, they help people a lot, but they are not really involving or encouraging um, people, young people to read, teenagers to read a lot because they're so um, uh, interested in the audiovisual, which is television shows, movies, music, and even video games. They may have a lot of literary references, but many people are not able to understand them because they're not reading enough. And reading fluently and, and analytically is very, very important. And um, they must learn reading skills to be successful. And as it is very beneficial, and we can see in the thesis statement that it involves readers in a variety of social situations and academic skills. So in order to expand their vocabulary, it's very important. So if you can see if the what is the green part? Can you tell me what the green part is? Is it the hook? Is it the transition or is it the thesis statement? Um, I think it's the bridge part. Yes, yes. Thank you very much. That's the correct answer. Yes, excellent. Uh, yes, the bridge it is taking us uh, from the first part, which is written in red, onto the blue part, which is written in, uh, sorry, the part that's written in blue. So the green is the connector. So yes, it is taking us on to the next um, 